Well, here's a check on the Friday night scores. Uh, Magic beat the Hornets, 117-106. Paolo Banchero with 31 points tonight in the win, and there, he's likely going to be your Rookie of the Year in the NBA. Uh, uh, Trail Bla Hawks beat the Blazers, 129-111, so that's good news for uh, – that's good news. Damian Lillard had 33 points. Trey Young had 23 points and 11 assists, but DeJounte Murray led the way with 41 points. Clint Capala had a double-double as well with 12 rebounds and 11 points. Uh, Nets beat the Celtics, 115-105. Hell yes, because Boston sucks. And uh, Mikkel Bridges had a double-double with 38 points and 10 rebounds in the win. Meanwhile, the birthday boy, Jason Tatum, had 22 points and 13 rebounds. Jalen Brown had 35 points, so it's good. It's good that Boston lost. I love it. And yes, the Knicks have won their eighth in a row by beating up on the Miami Heat. 122-120, and Julius Randall came a rebound short of a double-double. He had 43 points tonight, nine rebounds. Meanwhile, Jimmy Butler had 33 points. Tyler Hero had 29 points. Um, so yeah, the Knicks are on a roll. Uh, Suns beat the Bulls, 125-104. Um, Kevin Durant had 20 points and 9 rebounds. Devin Booker had 35 points. Chris Paul had a double-double. 11 points, 10 rebounds. Um, meanwhile, DeMar DeRozan had 31 31 points. Uh, Thunder beat the Jazz, 130 to 103. Yeah, Thunder beat the Jazz tonight. Uh, Warriors continue their winning streak. They've won five in a row. And uh, uh, Brandon Ingram had 17 points. Uh, Clay Thompson had 27 points. Uh, Jordan Poole had 18 points. Kevon Looney had a double-double with 10 points and 11 rebounds. But yes, the Warriors continue their dominance at home. And they won five straight at home. And, uh, and yes, the Grizzlies beat the Nuggets. One, or the Nuggets beat the Grizzlies, 113-97. And yes, um... Uh, this might be a preview of the Western Conference Finals because those are the top two in the West. And yes, the Denver Nuggets and the Memphis Grizzlies have never been to the NBA Finals. They've both been to the Conference Finals, but not the NBA Finals. As one of those two teams looks to end a drought this year, but we'll see. John Moran had a double-double with 27 points and 10 rebounds. Uh, Jokic with another triple-double. 18 points, 18 rebounds, 10 assists. Jamal Murray led the way with 22 points. And Michael Porter Jr. had 26. And, uh, yeah. That is a possible Western Conference Finals preview. But don't count your chickens until they hatch. And uh, the Clippers have lost their fifth in a row as they fall to 500 as they lose to the Sacramento Kings, 128-127. Paul George had 28 points. Uh, Kawhi Leonard didn't play tonight. Westbrook had 27 points, 10 rebounds, or 10 assists, rather. Harrison Barnes had 20. Sabonis had a double-double, 23 points, 10 rebounds. Jaron Fox had 33 points. Yeah, Clippers have lost ten, five in a row. Man, I wouldn't be surprised if the Clippers fall into the playing tournament again and fall below 500. Yeah, they play against Sunday, against Memphis. Yeah, and finally the Lakers. Yeah, they had a one-point lead in the first quarter, but it's been all Minnesota after that. Rudy Gobert had a double-double with 22 points and 14 rebounds. Yeah, the Timberwolves beat the Clippers the other night as well. Yeah, Rudy Gobert, Anthony Edwards had 19. And only three Lakers in double figures tonight. Anthony Davis with 38 points. Malik Beasley with 15. And Lonnie Walker with 10. And our team was kind of out of it tonight. And, uh, yeah. 
We're four games under 500, and uh, with barely a month to go, the Lakers have lost. They fell back to 500 at home, but are four games under on the road. And, uh, yeah, and now the Clippers are 500 on the road and at home. So, yeah. And, yeah, and now the Golden State Warriors have won five straight. And uh, it sucks. But, look, Fe Warriors are just one game behind Phoenix for the four seed. And, of course, the Kings have won their fifth in a row and are seeking their first Pacific Division title in more than 20 years. And the, the Nuggets have won three in a row. And... Uh, but since the Celtics lost, the Bucks still have a one-game lead over the uh, Celtics. Meanwhile, the Dodgers and Angels finished in a tie today, 2-2. Two to two. And, and let's see how the LA Kings did tonight in hockey. Um, uh, well, yeah, they won yesterday, 3-2 to two over the Canadians. And they play the, they host the Blues tomorrow night, and then they host the Capitals on Monday. And uh, by the way, uh, I'm not giving up on the Lakers. Just keep your head up and keep the faith, and we still got this. You know, you know I've been a Laker fan since I was a little boy. When Showtime was here, when Jerry West was our general manager, when Pat Riley was our coach, and of course when Jerry Buss was the owner. And, um, but yeah, we only have like 17 or 18 games left to go. And in order to finish above 500, you have to win like, I mean, in order to finish over, you have to win 12 out of your last 18, and it's not gonna be easy. I mean, especially with LeBron being out, and we need D'Angelo Russell back too. And even if we don't make the playoffs this year, um, we have a lot to look forward to next year. I mean, hey, at least the playing would, 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 be a, would be a start at least. But we'll see. Hopefully next year we'll be healthy, you know, and. Trying to make some noise. Meanwhile, it's all we got for you tonight. But just keep your head up, keep the faith, never give up. We got this. Peace out.